Hi Sagittarius, this is Jess with your November 2016 reading. I hope you guys are having an enjoyable day. So Sagittarius, um, this month I feel is going to be, or can be at least, a very accomplished month. But it is going to call for you guys to deal with some things. I mean, like really deal with it. Because if you guys don't, this is a general. And so it does um, connect to the very specific general. I know it's, I said general and specific, but it's very specific, meaning it only, it kind of picks up on that general overall message that a lot of Sagittarius are going through okay um so if you guys do not make specific changes then you're kind of going to get stuck in these same storylines of the same thing over and over again um now somehow and I want to say because a lot of you have been pushing the pedal to the metal with you know taking all this all of this responsibility some of you have a have um developed a habit some type of habit now it could be your typical habit of drug alcohol that sort of thing but it also could be shopping indulging of any kind food just anything but you guys i feel some of you have definitely um taken on a habit or some really bad thoughts some of you have been having some really dark th thoughts um unhealthy thoughts um and i feel like it's gotten to the point where it's starting to disrupt the good things the good energy that you guys were kind of having before um it hasn't completely messed up your mojo but it's it can get there if you guys do not switch and change your way of thinking some of you have gone back to thinking about somebody from your past that was not good for you and so that then is going to start to manifest a lot of um negative subconscious feelings because you have to understand your subconscious is in scorpio which we have mercury transiting scorpio right now so you have mercury in your 12th house right now and that is going to help and that does speak again i feel too all of this fear but i'm seeing a lot of fear in the mind for scorpio uh, you see, I keep saying Scorpio. You see, when I even started the video, I was saying Scorpio. See, now I'm still now saying Scorpio. And I feel like it is the Scorpio energy that's attached to you guys that is like a freaking plague. Shout out to my Scorpios out there that's listening that has Sagittarius attached to you some kind of way. You know what I'm talking about, guys, Scorpios. You guys know what I'm talking about. The crush watchers that may be dating the Sagittarius you're watching too. Don't get offended. You know, you know what I'm talking about. The negative, the negative deep-seated fear that some Scorpios can be plagued with and that can stay there, okay? Be thankful if you have Sagittarius in you. If you are a Scorpio, you have Sagittarius or you're Sagittarius that has Scorpio because you can't linger. You just, with a Sagittarius, you just can't linger for too long. Um, but my true Scorpios can, you know, get trapped in that space. That's what I'm picking up on because I was concerned if I was like, what? you know but now i see it's like so a lot of you are tapping in subconsciously but it's also hitting your conscious mind deep rooted thoughts people from your past that you know you may have had, had an an insatiable relationship with meaning it was a very passionate relationship but on all octaves right so it was pas passionate in a good way passionate in a bad way passionate in a very unhealthy way and toxic way but you may be tapping in at different moments the variations of the passion that you shared with someone and therefore it's creating all of this sense of fear and lack and doubt and self confidence you know lack of confidence and self-doubt that sort of thing so really the advice is to cut that and I feel like you're going to cut it because it's definitely when we get Mercury out of Scorpio, you'll be able to cut that and you'll be able to move forward. OK, um, the Mercury, the transits that we've been experiencing in Scorpio has been quite, 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 quite heavy to deal with. So um, I feel like you guys are going to cut it. 
and you're going to put an end to that situation and you're going to be ready to move forward. But I feel like the first, um, the first week to the first two weeks, but I feel like the first, first week is going to be rough. Okay. For some of you, the second week is going to be rough, but the first two weeks is going to be a bit of a challenge. Some more than others, less than others, that sort of thing. Um, but I feel like by the second week or at the tail end of the second week going into the third week, you guys are going to be fine. You're going to put that behind you. You're going to put it to an end. For some of you, it's going to be in the second week where you say, okay, I'm done. I'm ready to move on. Uh, I've had enough, you know. And again, because you guys are in this dark space of thinking, your attitude and energy toward other people may be coming off very cold, very callous, very I don't care about you. Where again, some of you are literally could be taking on this Scorpio energy. Again, Scorpios care so much deep, like they care so deeply for people. It would scare people if they knew just how much a Scorpio cares when they do care. They just don't tell you. They just, and they, and again, the way that they will show you, you may not think that it's big deal, or you may not even see that as them communicating a love for you, but they know how deep their feelings lie. And that's why they know how intense it is for them. And so of course you being this bubbly, sunny, happy, typically Sagittarius, um, having this type of heavy energy on you could be again displaying to other people to be very aloof cold detached uncaring un un uninterested you know that sort of thing but you're going through some things right now so i would say definitely hold on definitely hold on i feel like the first two weeks can be a bit rough for sagittarius's now Moving further into the reading, and, and I want to go also a little bit further to say that in the two-week period, some of you may be feeling like things are just not going your way, you're not happy, you're not um, getting what you want, and some of you may be worried, like, you know, is this what my life is going to be? Like, all of this is just what my life is going to result to? Um, but then it's it's, to me, it's almost like, it's like it's been it's going to be raining on you guys and then the sun's going to come out i want to say like yeah going into that coming off of that second week it's like the sun is going to come out but i will tell you this if you guys decide to stay there if you guys decide to not do something and i don't see where there's anything drastic that you have to do but i feel like there's something that is calling for you to do it's it's time for you to clean up your act. It's time for you to get it together. It's time for you to put yourself first in a positive way. If you do not do that, then I will be repeating this all over again next month. Because again, we have free will. So it is calling for you to put an end to a situation. It, there's, it's like se it's what I would call sextiles. It's an opportunity. It's a good opportunity. But if you don't do something about it, it's not a try and it's not going to just, you know, come to you in a silver platter. No, you have to be proactive in order for it to manifest. You have to actively say, I'm going to put an end to it. I do see that you'll have that spark and that um, you're going to have a full spark to want to just like change the way that you've been thinking, the way that you've be, been behaving, the way that you have been feeling. And I feel a lot of you are going to go out and pursue. You may find yourself changing your hairstyle, changing your clothes, just making a, a major shift into other to people. You may be kind of, it may be a strange to them because it's like, okay, well, you were all serious and all this and that just like for the past few months or whatever and now you're like happy-go-lucky and you know shaking your tail girl I'm about you know I'm about to say something that doesn't make sense <laughs> you know what I'm trying to say you're you're you know you're, you're footloose and fancy free let me say that you're footloose and fancy free okay um and I feel like it's coming closer so coming closer to your birthday month happy birthday to my november sagittarius is uh as some people say scorpio sagittarius is but you know happy birthday for for my um sagittarius that's born in november so you could be preparing for that 
preparing for like, you know, I'm going to be this age this year and, or I'm going to be this age next year. So now it's time for me to get in the gym. It's time for me to start eating healthier. It's time for me to um, pursue whatever it is that you're looking to pursue. Because I do see that there is a moving forward. Again, I'm getting very strongly for a lot of people in this heart area, in their um, soul, their spirit is speaking to them to start something new. And to move forward in that. And that might, like, although you might be, like, some of you are going to your past in order to literally do a U-turn and start moving toward your future. If that makes any sense. So you may be... You may be thinking about someone from your past. You may be wanting and desiring someone from your past. You may be wanting and desiring to get back to a place in your past where you felt things were better. But out of that heavy, it's almost like Pluto, literally. It's almost like that type of transit, that type of metamorphosis that you guys are going through. So it's through the heaviness of the thoughts, the heaviness of the feelings. You then realize that, you know what? actually my beginning and my newness doesn't isn't there it's not back there anymore it's forward and I feel like you guys are kind of going to do like a u-turn not a full u but like almost like a half u and just start going forward where your thoughts and, and almost it seems like your actions or your desires I'll say um, was heading backward now you're going to come and make a full circle well a half circle and come forward and start moving back forward and in that pursuit of moving forward again getting yourself aligned getting very sharp and clear with your thoughts okay you're gonna start to become more holistic with self Okay, you're going to start to align yourself more with the things that are healthy for you and when you do that Okay, I feel like there is going to be a sense of belief and understanding about where you want to go, the direction that you want to go and what you want to do and the plans that you're going to want to make. You're going to start to manifest those things and you are going to get. Now, here's the thing. While you're in this dark place at the beginning of November, no, everything is going to seem bleak, bleak as hell. I'm telling you that right now. Some of you are going to be drinking, smoking, you know, partying and, you know, being intimate, just doing things that you really ought not do. That is so against your totality and the benefit of your spirit, your temple. Right. But then through that, we'll through that as an opportunity. Hello, message opportunity for there to be a newness a new direction in which you're going to leave that behind, cut it off and really start moving forward in your life. And through that moving forward, your belief system, your understanding, your commitment, your focus will, I feel, emerge into something that specifically your intent, your intent is to manifest and manifestation it will. Now, it's going to take some time now. It's not going to happen overnight. It's not. But I feel like when you get now, okay, and I know I'm kind of like back and forth and back and forth. So just, you know, work with me and go with me as if it were a movie. Now, going back again, when you're coming out of this negative part, going, coming out in your, again, some of you could be four days out, some of you could be a week out, some of you could be two weeks out, but you guys are know because you'll start to feel a change, okay? You might feel like, again, like, you know what, um, there may be a block, like, okay, I want to move forward, I kind of know exactly what I want to do now, but you, it may be a little block before you can actually physically move forward, you know? Um, if you, some of you might be saying, hey, I'm going to leave my job because I'm, you know, I'm worth more than this and it doesn't make me happy and it boggles me down and whatever. But you may be saying to yourself, you know, I really, I would like to leave my job, but I really can't right now. Like right now I can't. So it may be, you may be saying, you know what, I am going to leave this job, but I'm going to work here for another month. I'm going to work here for another four months before I decide to say, okay, I'm chucking this and I'm going to move forward. Okay. Um, so there will be a, I feel, um, space and time in which you have to wait a little bit before you can actually start the manifestation process i feel okay um 
yeah, I'm getting like in a four or five month range before you're going to actually start to see things manifest. Okay. So there's, and I've been telling a lot of people, this. a lot of people I'm giving messages to right now that literally you're not going to see these things manifesting until sometime next year. And I told you guys at the last reading. So it's almost as if we all should just stop doing readings until next year, right? <laughs> So everyone just keeps saying the same, 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 same thing. Well, I know I'm saying the same, 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 same thing. But I, I hear in my um comments below that people says, you know, everyone's saying the same thing. All you, all you readers say, well, I, I know I'm speaking off of the cards that I'm reading. So if it all sounds the same, then every obviously the, the veil is very thin, and um the messages are very clear. So um I feel like again that there is this um. Being able to move forward in the situation. Uh, but again, there's an opportunity for that. There's an opportunity for that. You're going to have to make up your mind to decide to move in that direction to manifest this opportunity. You're going to have to. It's not going to give be given to you on a silver platter. If you do not, I feel like you're going to take yourself through changes that you don't need to take yourself through. You really don't. Like, here's the thing. If you do not take the opportunity to move forward in a positive way, step by step, when you start to get that feeling, then what you've been going through, what I just said, the, the negative part of it is going to, that is going to drag out. And then it's going to get to a point where, okay, you're going to be like, okay, I'm tired of this. I'm ready to move on. No, because now you're literally throwing the clock off. You're throwing that clock off. So your Let's, this is a hypothetical. I do not have this card out. The will of fortune. Okay, let's say your will is up, right? So it means, okay, great. This is a good opportunity for, or let's say, just like I said, and then two weeks of when you get this feeling, this is going to be a good opportunity for you. But then you say, no, 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 no. Well, that, that will is still moving. And then when you decide to get up, you can get up, but nothing's going to work for you because now it's not time anymore. So that's what I'm saying. It's a good opportunity for you guys to do that now. When I feel like within the next week for some of you, you'll feel it, you'll know it in two weeks for the others of you, but no longer than two weeks, I feel. And But you guys will know when it is your time. You're going to feel it is my point. When you start to do it and take on that responsibility and move in that direction, just know that it's going to take some time before you actually get to the finish line. But you need to do it. It's and it's on you, and there will be again. I feel obstacles. I feel like there's good. I feel like you know, for you to get to this next, this other side that you want to go, there's some blockages. People trying to block you, situations and circumstances blocking you. You know, there's people trying to block you from manifesting the things that you want, but you're gonna have to just be very creative, very creative, and um, have a plan A, B, and C. And if a person is trying to block you, then okay, how do I get around you? And if you know that this is a situation where, okay, I just have to sit and wait. It's nothing I can do about it. Then do do that. But in it, don't revert back to anything negative. Keep moving forward. Keep being positive. Clean up your diet. Drink more water. Yoga. Meditation. Working out. Whatever works for you and that you feel is the most ginger for your body or the most um, re results driven for your body or is the most effective for you, do it. Okay? Do it. Because that there's nothing more than being able to incorporate healthy um, lifestyle habits, I feel, to personally um, change your entire dynamic in life. And that's what I'm seeing the opportunities for you guys are, is to be able to change the entire dynamics of your life. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. And I feel like, what are we, March? So we're in November, December, January, February. Yeah, because I'm feeling like within four months time, so around the, the, the season of Aquarius, um, I feel like a lot of things are going to start to move be better for you but that's only if you put the work in right now like i said you know um now as it relates to love i, I was saying here that a lot of you are going through the motions 
the windmill as you as you were with with relationships a lot of you've been thinking about past relationships and i already said that the toxicness of those past relationships and there's a lot of regret and loss regret that i'm not saying you regret that you lost the person or that they left some of you are regretting the fact that you even wasted your time some of you are regretting the fact that you even gave that person opportunity to hurt you that sort of thing but everyone here is not a victim so let's not all make yourselves out to be one some of you actually created the problem too some of you may now have to you know be honest that hey i participated in the mess up of this and damn that sort of thing you know but i feel like again that you're, that's going to come to an end i feel like you guys have definitely was doing that probably all throughout the month of october you seriously and now you're like okay i'm done it's but so much of this i can do and i feel like um Here's the thing. If you've been thinking about somebody from your past, you may manifest this person. Although your heart is cold toward them, you may have still, you know, because of the thoughts that you've had, both good, bad, and indifferent, have conjured them up. And now, you know, they may be telling you, like, you know, they're starting something new with their life. And some of you may be hearing that they're moving. They're totally moving the country out of the country or they're moving out of this, you know, where, wherever the state that they live in and they're moving to another place. And, you know, they have all of these great things going on in their life. Okay. Um, and some of you may be looking like, I don't know how much I believe this. You know what I mean? <laughs> some of you might be saying this is BS. You know, some of you could be saying that this is BS. Now, I feel like some of you are going to be ending the hangups that you've had in a past relationship and moving forward to someone else, okay? Or taking stock in someone making a proposal to you. I feel like someone could have come, made a proposal to you of start wanting to start something new. And then the person left again. So the person is like, the, the here's the thing. It could have been one point of like the person coming in, they're making a proposal to you. They don't live with you or live in your area. So now they're going back home, that sort of thing. So it could be something as simple, but it could also be that the person coming in, they are being very cocky and very narcissistic and all about them and telling you all these great things that's happening to them. Then they cut back out. Then it could be someone coming in and telling you, Hey, you know, I, I want a new beginning. Let's start something new, making a proposal to you. But I feel like for some of you, it could just be like, Hey, you want to go out? You want to, you know, probably grab a bite to eat. You want to go out to dinner, that sort of thing. And then that's when you hear about all of this stuff from this person. Okay. Um, because I'm seeing that this person is very self-focused. Like it's a lot of about self with this person. So I'm almost reluctant to say that this person's proposing something, but I feel like someone is proposing something to you. A proposal is being made to you, or perhaps you're making a proposal to someone. And therefore, um, once the proposal comes in, there's going to be a trying to decide what do you do? What steps do you take because i feel like some of you do want to um connect um with an earth sign so virgo taurus or capricorn a king of pentacles um my sag men you may be wanting to pair with someone okay um and i feel like there's blockages between you and this person like you want to be with them but then it could be you're with somebody, like there could be somebody else, okay? Um, and you kind of just want to detach yourself from the person that you're with and go and be with somebody else, you know what I mean? Or take a trip at least and go see somebody, okay? Because I was getting energies very strongly for my Sages about you guys cutting up in the month of November and cutting loose. And some of you calling out from work, some of you... Um, taking a hiatus from your relationships some of you just literally saying f it f it because you know what i've been working too damn hard and i need to have some fun you know just like leos get that urge to want to love and be loved someone very specific so i just get the urge to want to go out and play 
And you know what I'm talking about. You guys love to go out and play from time to time. And I, I was getting that energy that a lot of you guys are just like, F this, I want to go and play. I just, I just, you know, like you want to play hooky from life in the month of November for some of you, especially if you got Scorpio and you forget about it. Cause, because if you go back and read and listen to that Scorpio reading, because that Scorpio reading, I was telling Scorpios, the advice is that no, what can't be changed for Scorpio is that they're going to be going out and socializing and partying. <laughs> so if you have Scorpio on you, you may have that F it feeling I deserve it hell this could be very much you in this very um I don't feel like it's narcissism but I feel like it's very self me orientated like damn it I've given to everybody and now damn it I'm doing it for myself and I don't give a damn anymore because I'm getting that too it's like damn it that's it enough necks on my foot I mean enough foots on my neck <laughs> enough foots on my neck I've had enough of it. I'm not going to tolerate this anymore. You know, I no, I'm like, no, I deserve, I deserve more. Forget this. You know what I mean? And so I feel like just be careful if that's the case. If some of you are, you know, saying F it and just, you don't want to go crazy. So that's what I'm saying. For some of you, just be careful in that department, be responsible, um, there but i feel like it's more in line with spirit and you getting yourself to another level now going back to this love thing i don't know how i've read off to that but going back to this love thing um someone if you want to get with someone and someone wants to get with you i feel like there's interference okay from from an outside person there's some type of inter interference but i'm gonna tell you one thing some of you are worrying and worrying and worrying yourself to death about not getting not getting not being able to have the person that you want because maybe you think there's somebody else and you don't even understand that that person has that person doesn't have any fight in them the person is already out the door and this person that you want is going to pursue you they're going to pursue you and um they're going to be really i feel revealing a lot to you okay um, now it could go both ways now it could go both ways that could be the case but if you're the person that's been really pining and loving and that sort of thing then it could be that you hear that this person is just like listen I don't you know you come to realize that this person doesn't is you and this person is not going to work out and you're gonna you're gonna have to accept the fact that this person has moved on to know someone else not only are they gonna be moving on with somebody else they're gonna get married and everything else with someone else so um that's why I say emotionally, I do feel like it is a um, very eye-opening months to come. Some of you, it's going to be a delayed um, wish come true, okay? If you're wanting someone and you're thinking that it's not going to happen and then you realize, well, yeah, actually it did happen and I can't even believe that it actually happened. Um, I do see somebody coming back to you. I do see somebody... Um, I see I see definitely people coming back in the month of November people coming back but I feel like they're not they're not coming right and in your mind you know the kind of guy you want you want that king of pentacles and I'm not talking about a Virgo Taurus a Capricorn I mean a king of pentacles someone that their word is their bond their yes and no as is, is gold you don't have to think twice you know they're rooted they are grounded okay they mean what they say they're committed you want that and some of you are wanting that and will manifest it in time and some of you have it and you may want to play and don't appreciate it and then others of you are trying to decide which one you want you know there could be a decision of like do I want to take on the offer that's given to me by someone that came back or do I want to move forward and then moving forward there just may be this king of pentacles in my future one that you're not aware of and it's down the line so you don't even know or or two that you do know and it's like you know it's just a mere making a decision because i do see that you guys will be at a bit of a crossroads trying to decide do you go back or do you keep moving forward and that literally is your month of november do you stay in this stagnant depths of hell <laughs> 
I feel more on an emotional level and spiritual as far as like just getting past whatever this roadblock is for you guys on a on a spiritual level. And when I say spirit, I mean soul. When I say soul, I mean your being, not this not the shell that our being is in, but the actual being that you're hearing, the voice and all of those things, the feelings, that that spirit that is calling for you to pick a side, make it there, you know, choose a direction. And, you know, again, you may be contending, contending with the past versus your future for the month of November. Okay. And so if this resonates for you guys, leave a comment below. Um, it's, I know I got a bit deep right now, but hell, your cards were kind of deep and I had to go there. So yeah, um, let me know guys, definitely. If you want to check back in mid month and I mean, as far as this reading is concerned and see how things are working out for you. And if, and if you felt that switch, you felt that shift and have you taken the challenge? Have you accepted the challenge? to change your life for the better if that's the case and you want to share leave a comment below We'd love to hear from you and share with the rest of us we all want to hear right guys and if you're new to this channel welcome and subscribe because i will be back very soon with another one take care sagittarius